Hello and welcome to this video in the series called Wappler 4. Here I will discuss the Site Manager. As a special note, in previous versions of Wappler, this was called, File Manager. With Wappler Site Manager, you can easily explore and manage the files and folders that are located in the local project folder. You can even do the same for the files and folders that are located on the remote host. When I click on the Site Manager icon, it opens the Project Folder panel. The top menu items allow us to view the project folder in three different formats. These are, Pages, Assets, and Files. I will first discuss the Pages view. Here we see two more viewing options, namely Dynamic and Static Pages. As you can see, for this project I do not have any dynamic pages. All of the pages are static. What this means, the pages all have an HTML extension. They do not contain any server-side code. In the Dynamic Pages panel, I will create a new page. Here we see that the thus created page has a PHP extension. The reason for this is, I have set PHP as the server model. If I had set another server model, the page would have had a different extension. When I hover over the page, I have the option to rename the page. I can also delete the page. There are a number of other functions such as create a page, create a folder, delete the selected folder. I can also sort the pages, search for a page and change the icon sizes. The next part in the site manager is the assets manager. The assets manager panel shows the image assets of your current project. Here I can create a folder or delete the selected folder. The images can be placed in their relevant folders for easy housekeeping. I can drag images from anywhere on my system and place them into a designated folder. If the images do not immediately appear, select a different manager to then come back to the assets manager. This toolbar contains the icons that we are by now familiar with. The last part of the site manager is the file manager. The file manager lists the files located in your project folder. Here I can double click any of the files in order to open it in Wappler's canvas. The toolbar on top allows me to manage my files. I can easily open a selected file, create file, create folder or delete selected files and folders. When you set up a project, you can define different publishing targets. You may have a testing server defined in a remote server. The remote server is usually on your hosting server. In the file manager you can explore and manage the files located on your remote target by switching to target in the dropdown. In this case, I do not have a remote server set up, hence I cannot demonstrate this in this video. To download files or folders from your remote target, just simply select them and click the download button. To upload a file to the active remote target, switch to local files view, select the files and folders to be uploaded and click the upload button. You can check the upload slash download progress in the bottom panel, so just open it and you will find some useful information like the number of files uploaded slash downloaded etc. When I right click a file or folder in the file manager, a context menu with different options appear. Most of these options are self-evident. I will explain the last two options as they do not appear elsewhere. By default the hidden files and folders are not listed in the file manager. In order to show them, right-click a file or folder in the file manager and select, show hidden. Now you can see the hidden files and folders and their content. In order to hide the hidden files and folders again, Right-click a file or folder in the file manager and select Hide Hidden. You can show a specific file or folder in your OS File Explorer, 
Windows Explorer on Windows OS and Finder on Mac OS, by choosing Show in Explorer. And that is it for the Site Manager. I hope that is has been of benefit for you. I will continue to create more videos covering Wappler version 4, so make sure to subscribe. That way you will be notified when a new video is published. My name is Ben Pleasier. Thank you for watching.